Okay, so we're looking at maths per se here. Now, the problem with maths isn't maths itself, it's people's understanding of maths. People often think that maths speaks of some great truth, and it must always be true in all cases, and that it's invariable, it describes things perfectly, whatever we say in something that's mathematical must ergo be true. What they uh, miss, really, is that maths is dependent on the environment in which it's applied. So let's take a really simple example of 2 plus 2. Nobody, but nobody, in their right mind is going to argue that that doesn't equal 4. We always know that 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now, that looks like a truth. Actually, it's only a truth for the universe in which we operate in. Let's change that a little bit and make a slightly different universe. Let's say we have a graduated cylinder, and we divide that cylinder up into four equal divisions. That's now our universe. Now if we take two lumps of water and add another two lumps of water, we get four lumps of water. That makes sense to us, because that agrees with our universe conception of what this uh, little addition makes. But let's change this universe. Let's drill a hole at level three of that universe. Now, if we add two lumps of water and two lumps of water, what we actually get is three. So in this universe, two plus two actually equals three. It really depends on how you set it up to what the answer actually is. For instance, if we take two protons and two antiprotons, it will in fact equal zero. If we just take the magnitude of those, then we can get that to be equal to zero. So, when you're looking at maths, you're actually looking at the specific universe that the maths has created itself. And it's tautological. The logic of it is contained within itself. And this is the problem that Descartes had when he was looking at um, the problem of the Turks. The problem of the Turks is, why is it when you work out the maths for a cannonball being fired from a cannon and the distance it will travel in the uh, theory on the board, that it matches when you actually fire the cannonball at the Turks. He had a great deal of problems with that. But the reason it matches, obviously, is that his mathematics was constructed in his universe. So because the rules are constructed that way, the mathematics must apply that way. If we construct the rules differently, the mathematics changes. Anyway, I thought that was interesting, so I hope that you did too.